Hello! Today's lesson is a quick overview of the main web elements, which you can add from the Add panel we covered in the previous video. Please note that you can add elements by clicking, dragging from the Add panel, and pressing the hotkeys. Each element has a documentation article, which you can access by clicking the How to Use link at the bottom. Each element section consists of the element, its layouts, block presets, and designs. Elements at the top are added with the default settings. Further, you can add block presets used as wireframes or ready-made designs, which you can customize for your websites. Let's briefly review elements in the Add panel. We will start with text, one of the basic website elements used to fill website content. The headings are important for visual presentation and typography. Also, the headings are preferred by search engines as they are treated as keywords helping to improve your SEO and website ranking. The more detailed info is presented in a separate video dedicated to each element. Suppose you have a page volume text with several paragraphs, subtitles, and images. You can add this text as separate elements or edit this whole text in the rich text element, like in any word processor, with text wrapping over images. The button and hyperlink are the main navigation and action elements of any website. Using these elements, you can navigate users to pages and websites or trigger actions like download files open model pop-ups, call, subscribe, purchase, etc. The image allows you to add illustrations to your pages. You can insert images by adding this element from the Add panel or dragging it from the desktop or folder. You can search millions of images in the libraries. Icons are small illustrations of ideas as simplified pictures. You can begin with a popular style like colored, fill, linear, background, or border. You can select from millions of various icons. You can also use shapes in web design. You can select from basic, thematic, texture, and polymorphic shapes or add lines. The box is a container for other elements. Box helps you organize elements on the layout, managing them as a single unit, moving and stylizing with a common border or background. Using the box is a good practice for making mobile-friendly websites. Grid and grid repeater help you organize the content in columns and rows. The columns automatically adjust content for mobile devices, making your site mobile-friendly. Unlike the grid, the grid repeater stylizes the elements and cells similarly, repeats layout and style, speeding up your work, as you do not need to edit each column. When you edit inner elements in one column, the same elements in other columns get the same style automatically. The grid and grid repeater is automatically mobile-friendly, as columns move one below another on smaller screens. The image gallery element displays several images as a single element, and there is no need to organize separate images. You can also use filters and image captions. The slider is a popular layout allowing you to display elements as sliding cards. There are two types of sliders, two separate sections on the Add panel. For example, the large full-width block slider is often used as the first block with the hero image. The smaller slider element is used inside a block, for example, to present testimonials. The contact form is the main element to communicate with your website visitors and collect leads. You can create simple and more complex contact forms having multiple steps, calculations, and dependencies. Collecting leads has never been easier. Add a contact form get notifications to your email, additionally, you can add more emails and submit them to Google Sheets and see the lead history in your account. Model pop-ups allow you to communicate with your visitors staying on the same page. This element often shows forms and offers. 
Model pop-ups are not just elements, but separate objects presented as a list on the Model pop-ups panel on the Quick Access pane. To open the Model pop-up, you need to add a button and link it to one of the Model pop-ups. You can use the same Model pop-up on different pages. We have finished the video lesson about the main web elements. Subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new Nice Page videos and features. Thank you for watching.